So today is finally the day. So uh, now I will be retrying the 3D Mark Port Royal on the EVGA RTX 2080 Ti Kimpin. I've really been trying uh, this hard, so I have tried to figure out every, any possible efficiency I can gain in the OS, and I have managed to gain some. So uh, today I will be retrying that particular benchmark again with this card, as it did so nicely the last time, so close to 2800 plus. I mean 2800 on the core, and uh, very very good temperatures like minus 165 to minus 170 before it cracked. I also now I changed the. Uh, cooling fan on the VRM heatsink to a custom delta fan as the VRM gets quite hot when you run like 1.5 plus on the GPU voltage and 2700 plus on the core. This is a quite decent fan, it's not too loud, well it is loud but not too loud and uh, it has enough airflow and uh, it's safe to use that even from a motherboard 3 pin header so there's no risk of burning it. The overall platform is the same so EVGA Z390 Dark Deleted 9900K, at like we will run that at like 5.3 or so. Two sticks of HyperX Predator 4133 Cas19 sticks will run at, which we will run at 4133 plus, but 17, 18, 18 timings. Custom water loop, so CPU on water, GPU on LM2, and uh, we are using the uh, Kimpin cooling Tech9 icon pot again with KPX thermal paste. But now I'm using the inner holes of the RTX 2080 Ti. Uh, GPU instead of the outer ones, so I think I can get a bit better overall mounting pressure uh, this way So I'll hope that this helps at least by some so uh, There are some improvements which we have got so now you can If you download the latest EVJ precision, uh, precision software you can uh, lock the maximum power state so the so-called PO state in the uh, precision software so you don't need a third party software to do that like FirmSpy or similar so that's really handy so that way we can always lock the maximum core speed with just the EVJ precision and uh, that's pretty much it so uh, Windows 10 version 1903 so I, no, I will not use the 1809 and uh, that's pretty much it so I, I will focus mostly on the actual benchmark so I will not film too much because I really want to try my best on this this time. I'll measure the voltage again of the, the actual GPU voltage with this uh, XTEC multimeter here and we will see how it goes. So uh, the uh, power supply is the Superflower 8 pack 2000 watt again so that shouldn't be uh, an issue and uh, we will see what happens. So if I get any good scores of course I will film those but yeah without further ado I will get started. As the fan is quite loud, it's not so easy to uh, talk with you guys. So I'll just load the profile, 5.3, core 50 on the cache, 1.3 A5, 1.3 IOSA. Yeah. <coughs> Mem is 4200. 4200, 1.45 volts, 17, 18, 18, 28, command rate 2, 360 on TRFC, many auto subs, not so important. So, yeah. Minus 23, 4 already. This should be quite fast as we know what the car likes to run and uh, what we want to run. So, monitoring the vehicle here with XTEC digital multimeter. So, yeah, now I'll try to push this. 
So yeah, there's definitely some improvements. So this was my first one at 2565 core, 2100 mem. Score is 12,439. So this beats Stepanzi for sure. So I'll now, I'll try to push more. So this was done at minus 135. All right, so that is all already the highest port rail score ever made on a 2080 Ti. So 12,946, 2700, 2700, 2100. Still same CPU and uh, 5.3, 5 gig on cache, same memory, 4133. So let's break 13K now. And that is it. Finally, the 13K barrier has been broken with a 2080 Ti. So 13,053 score. Absolutely amazing. It beats the uh, current generation Titan so well. So the clocks were 2715, 21, 27.5. CPU 5.3 GHz with 1.38 set voltage. 5G on the cache, same. And uh, 4266 memory, 17, 18, 18, 28, common rate 2. So absolutely amazing. So, uh, I was running it around once 155. So this is absolutely amazing. So uh, the, e the efficiency is really there. So it's on par with the uh, uh, live stream runs by Joe Stepanzi. So uh, now I'll try to see if I can push the temperatures to close to full pot. And then we will just run other benchmarks because this is so amazing score. I've been pushing this so hard and now finally we got it. Damn happy. Sadly, the uh, clocks weren't so high this time, so I have some issues getting the uh, same core speeds as before, but I'll work that out. But yeah, I'm absolutely amazing. So this beats, this beats all the cards before this, and uh, the first ever 13K on the 3D Mark Port Royal Hall of Fame. Thanks to, uh, huge thanks to Vince Kimpin Lucido for Helping me, with, helping me with this card, and uh, this is my birthday present to you. As today, 25th of September, is your birthday. So, very happy birthday! And th this score proves that your uh, branded graphics card is pretty much the best on the planet. Wow! So that is pretty much the end of this uh, quite short. Uh, 3D bench session with the EVGA RTX 2080 Ti. So, uh, yeah, 13,053 on the uh, 3D Mark Port Royal benchmark, so that means it's the uh, Hall of Fame record. The first ever score to break the famous or well, very anticipated 13,000 ba score barrier on the 3D Mark Port Royal Hall of Fame. So, uh, it beats the uh, uh, Titan RTX by quite a bit, so at least what by 100 points, like 140, 130. So uh, that is clearly an amazing result. But it also shows that how much you have to uh, overclock over the uh, Titan RTX speeds in order to beat it. So uh, now I'm just uh, heating the uh, card back up. So uh, I still cannot reach the. Uh, I still cannot reach the. Uh, uh, full pot speeds, so uh, I am getting a thermal paste crack. I'm getting thermal paste crack at around once 175, so uh, I still need to work on, on that. Uh, but other than that, I'm really happy about this, uh, this uh, short session, so uh, I will uh, try to improve, of course, and uh, I will also try the uh, 3D Mark 11 and 3D Mark Vantage again. So uh, I will see what happens with those. But without full pot, it's really, really hard because 3D Mark 11 is very high-powered uh, benchmark, and uh, when you go to the uh, like sleep state in between the graphics tests, there the card paste might crack. So there's the uh, like the risk point of this whole uh, rig. But yeah, I'll try my best. But anyways, so really happy about the 13,000 score barrier uh, breaking. So. Uh, if you like this video, then damn, I hope that you will like and share this and subscribe to my channel. And uh, uh, thanks for watching this uh, short benchmarking video and I'll see you next time.